guys I am back with a video I know it's been a while since I've done a video but I have a little bit more time on my hands lately like I think all of us do normally I'm working two jobs four kids the whole nine so you know busy 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 but I went to Dollar Tree I've seen way too many Dollar Tree videos of all the goodies um, in the crafter square so I have to go get some um, and then I got some for Happy Mail so I'll Pretty much all my doubles are going to be happy mail of the things I picked up. But let's dive in. Sorry about the glare. It is nighttime. Also, my kids are home. So you might randomly hear some noises possibly. Um, so sorry in advance for that. Starting with adhesive. So I picked up two of these. Um, these are the new pop dot tape, it says. And it comes in three um, different sizes, which is really nice. It says two yards each. So that's nice as well. This is the one I normally get. I went ahead and got it anyways because it is by a different brand. I know it works well. I like that it's pre-cut. I don't have to have scissors and try and cut things or try and tear things. It's just perfect. So I got this because this is what I normally like to use. And I don't know how well this adheres. I've seen a lot of videos of people hauling this, but none of anybody using it yet. So I don't know if things are going to fall back off or not. I hope not because this is great for a dollar that you get three sizes. But just in case, I got the ones I normally use. So, and then this one is six feet for just this one. So you do get more for your money in this one. Then I got the double-sided tape and I wanted to open this because um, I wanted to see if it tears um, well. It's, and it does, it tears super easy. It tears better than my, um, than my other tape. I know that sounds silly. I can't think of the name of it now. <laughs> it tears really easy. Um, I don't need to get something out to help me tear. Uh, so that is awesome. And it's, it's sticky. It's super sticky, so I think it's going to hold whatever we want it to hold. Oh my, now it's all over me. But the roll itself is a little sticky on the sides. I don't know if it's just mine. Um, it's it, And it's a little loose, um, but that's okay. It was only a dollar. But if you're packing a, a, a tote um, for a crop, I wouldn't throw this in next to anything with like some ephemera pieces or something because it might stick to it. But I'm just going to throw it in my adhesive bin. So I think it's going to be just fine. And this was the only one on the shelf. If there was more, I, I would have grabbed more. Because now that I know it tears easy too. Um, these are not new to scrap. Um, oh my gosh, I almost said scrapbook.com. <laughs> these are not new to the Dollar Tree, but they were a different brand before instead of the Crafter's Square. So I got these because I needed some anyways. So one of those and then I picked up two of these these are the magical adhesive dots they're 72 also they have another brand um, already that they sell in it but it's a smaller pack there's a lot more in this one um, than the other pack I don't have it with me and I didn't buy it because this seems to be a better amount um, and I did pick up two I just hope they come out with like a smaller size because I like to put the little flowers on with them but um yeah so happy about that Speaking of adhesive, I got this double-sided tape. I wasn't sure if I was going to wrap or gift bag my Mother's Day gifts uh, this year. So I went ahead and got this. I like the double-sided because when you're wrapping your present, you can make everything flush and smooth. And you don't see the tape. Then I got this. This is also adhesive. This is cork sheets. I picked up two of them. I'm super excited about this. I like cork. I like to add different textures to my layouts, and I feel like cork is an easy way to do that. Also, um, I get them at Tuesday morning. They're usually like two bucks for the little tiny sheet of like different types of hearts or arrows, corks and stuff. And this um, is all adhesive backed already. So I'm gonna put it through my die cutting machine and see how it comes out. I don't know if this is gonna hold up very well or not. Um, the dimensions are right here, 11.75 inches by 7 and 75 inches. Um, so it's a good size. Um, I didn't want to grab a ton because I wasn't sure. Besides that, if it does work out well, I want to be able to make embellishments out of these two and use start using them before I went back and got any more to see if I actually, you know, do it and use it versus getting a bunch. 
All right, so this is not um, a craft item, but I'm going to use it in my craft room. So I thought I'd show you this. So these are pockets. I'm gonna organize things in them. This one says thoughts and they're just so pretty. I don't know if you can see all the movement. Aren't they pretty? The back is clear. So you put it in, you can see all your goodies. And I got one of every design that I saw. I'm sorry about the glare from the lights. This one says notes. I love this one. So pretty. And I like this one too. Uh, I was trying to show you without it being super glary, but I guess I can't. So also I wanted to show you how much this stuff can hold. So I have a 12 by 12 and I don't know if I got it from Dollar Tree like 10 years ago or if I got it from Creative Memories, but I've had it for like roughly 10 years. So it is a 12 by 12 one, but it's got the same principle. It's cut seam there, seam here. It's open at the top and on the side. And I've got a lot of stuff in here. I have a packet in here. This I know I bought at the Dollar Tree a long time ago when they used to have these. And I just have some of the uh, back to school stuff in here, like a, a small kit. Um, but it has like several papers. I mean, like at least 20 papers in here along with that. And I will put, um, I'll put the cork in here just to demonstrate to you kind of like obviously the cork is taller but I'm gonna put um, smaller things in here and then organize it inside of my um, my uh, paper storage caddies so you can obviously put more in here and it would still be okay so maybe not super chock full as my 12 by 12 but I still think it's gonna work well for the scraps and things that I wanna keep with my kits. And it's just pretty. You know, it's kind of like an excuse to buy it. <laughs> like we need an excuse to buy things. <gasps> but yeah. And then I picked up some storage pieces. These are were not in the crafting aisle. These were over like towards the bath stuff. So I found these three and they are frosted. And what I liked about them was the way the top screwed and it came with this little spatula. So like if you were like, you know, making your own face uh, creams or whatever, but yeah. So I just, I like that it wasn't like popped on and it screwed. You could put like maybe some to go. Um, I like to put like little to go mixed media things and take them with me. So maybe like some expanding mousse or something since it has the spatula already there. I don't know. Maybe that won't work out. But if not, I can still put like sequence mixes and things like that in it, which is what I'm going to do with these. So if I have tiny like little things to gift somebody, that would work well in here as well. Like a few like little key charms or something versus gifting a large one of these. Also, these screw on. So I got the fun colors and then I got the white pack. So I picked these up. So there was if you can see the sizes, it's like half the size. So I liked the size variation. So grabbed those. Then I got a paint palette. I just like the way this looks. Um, I don't have a paint palette. Um, I just keep using like leftover, like the packaging and doing smushing techniques and things like that but I would like to keep some of mine on a palette and start using them. And I liked this one. Um, yeah. And I liked that there was one, they had other palettes that were super cute. They had this one that was a bow, but it wasn't as sturdy. And it was like, I don't remember exactly, but like six of them. And I don't need that many. <laughs> I just need one. And this one was, uh, the bigger one of them all. So yeah, I liked it. It was cute. So I grabbed that. Then, more crafty items. Oh my gosh, I got these mini glass jars and there comes with six of them. You know those Tim Holtz ones we buy? Yeah, they're like, what, four bucks for four of them or something like that? Nope. Now the Dollar Tree has them. Except for our, this is the only pack I had, so it might be difficult to get them. Um, but And then you'll still need the little 
corkscrew pieces from Tim Holtz, but that's okay. And they're so cute. I also find these fun to gift um, little samples of glitter in, just like a, you know, put a bunch of little different colors and you can give a bunch of, and they can put them in their thing. Um, then I got these by, these are by Jot. Um, these are white um, string tags. These are not new to the Dollar Tree, but I haven't seen them for a little bit. So I went ahead and grabbed a pack while they were in stock. These are great for like coffee dyeing and tea dyeing. You just throw the whole thing in there. And um, yeah, works great. Then I picked up some tissue paper. I just thought this blue one, I think you would get two of the decorative. It says there's eight in here total. I can't remember though, but I, out of the decorative patterns, I think you only get two and the rest of them are always the blue. But I thought that was really pretty. That would be so pretty and easy to put in um, a journal or add it to anything. So yeah. I grabbed that one. There wasn't any other colors in this design. There was just the blue one. Or I would have grabbed it. At least that I saw. Then, whoa, look at this. There's five gift sacks. Aren't these so pretty? All right. So I thought about putting them in a mini album or um, a junk journal. Probably just a junk journal type thing. Um, and, you know, just cutting the edges or whatever. And having this, like, bling. Sorry about all the flashing. I'm having too much fun here. But this is like super holographic, as you can tell. And they're a good size. It doesn't have like dimensions on here. But I should have pulled my ruler out. They are, I'd say just shy of nine inches, the first top bag. So yeah. And they're... Five inches exactly on the width so in case you need to know if you're making a junk journal that blingy and this ruler is great I got this ruler off of Amazon it has all the little measurements sorry squirrel but I'm a squirrel so you know I do squirrel things all the time <laughs> speaking of tags I went ahead and picked up these chalk tags you get six of them these are from the crafters square so I liked that. I like adding chalk elements. I think it's fun. I got these fashion jimmies. Um, these are in an iridescent, if you can see all the nummy colors. If it's not too shiny. It comes with glue so you can adhere it to a, whatever you want. Honestly, I probably will never use the glue. Um, doesn't look packaged well. It's not busted though. It's not busted open. But the packaging looks, you know, ugh. But that's okay, because I already have glues that work great. And I'm not trying to put these on flip-flops, though you could. That's kind of like what they're, like, advertising, I think, in phones and stuff. But I plan on putting them on my pages. I don't know why, but it's not picking up the iridescent colors. But, yeah. They're super pretty. I'm going to put them on my layout. And they already have some, they're already adhesive. So I think this is just to like really make them stick stick. The new terminology guys, stick stick. <laughs> okay, so to go with this, I picked up some other goodies of course, but um, I got these uh, chalk writers. So I got the white and I got purple and I'm gonna try them out on the tags and um, see how well they work just try them out now there's no reason to wait so I don't want to use them all up but also another thing I found interesting so I got the two chalk markers and then I found these metallic markers and they didn't say they were for chalk writing um, and these are by craft decor which is a newer brand I think to um, Dollar Tree and this is from For forever time and these are fine tip and they're packaged upside down. So when they're hanging on the shelf, they're already hanging upside down. So they should like immediately work, which is awesome. These are not. These are just, you know, the regular way people um, store them. It says wet, erasable, mess, and dust free. 
And so let's see here. Let's see how well they work. Oh, so it's like that. Okay. So they kind of look like a, a crayon. So definitely not any kind of fine tip point whatsoever. Um, so we'll just write what they have on theirs. So smile. Oh, wow. Very creamy. A little hard to write with just because of how thick the tip is. My M is totally smushed, but it could just be my handwriting. Let's see. Can't really do anything too close because it's kind of hard to figure out which piece is going to write on the paper. But very creamy. Love the color. The color is really pretty. It's a really pretty purple. It's not too dark. So, yeah. So, happy I picked those up. They have another color. They have green, and then they have like a, a dark silver and a dark gold. Um, kind of like a, not a dirty gold. It just wasn't a very pretty looking gold. So that's why I got these colors. Um, the green did look really pretty, but it was just so Christmas green that I just didn't want it. All right, so the metallic markers, I picked them up. They, um, they don't say colors on them. Like obviously I got two different colors, but I don't see, they say photo safe, so that's good. Uh, I don't know, but we're going to try it on our chalk tag. Since they're metallic, they should show up since I'm black fine. We're going to try the more pink one. So I'd say this is like a, a, a rose gold, and then this is more of like a blush. And then they had um, gold and... A silver I believe I just didn't feel like getting uh, those colors oh so this works don't mind my wonky stitches I'm just trying to see and then I didn't try the white because I figured we would know what that looks like the tip is nice um, but I will try the rose, what I'm calling rose gold. Let's see how that one looks. And they do clip on to the end, so that's nice. So you don't have to lose, worry about losing your pen. Oh, so this looks kind of like peachy. Yeah, All right, so obviously this is just f for f for showing. I would be more neat about it otherwise. But definitely has um, shine to it. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a, a silver base shine, not a gold base. Um, still very pretty though. I, I definitely think this is, yeah, I don't know which one's my favorite. I don't know, they're very pretty. But this is like a blush, like a peachy, and this is definitely like a baby pink. So my idea of rose gold, and blush are not quite accurate but very pretty shows up really well on this tag so glad about that and then I went ahead and got some uniballs um, they work wonderfully it says bold vibrant ink it did not say if it wrote blue and green but I think it does I'm not gonna open these because these are going in some happy mail for my sister, I made her a junk journal for her birthday and I'm gonna add these to it. So her favorite color is green. It just says vivid ink. So, I don't know. It says it's a medium point, but yes. I bought it before and um, it wrote pink and blue when I've bought them in the past. So I'm, I'm hoping it writes green her and not just black but either way they write smoothly from previous experience so they will be nice then I found these uh paint brushes and they seem nice so I found two different sizes there's three in here of the small ones those are the tips you get and then the brush set for two I don't think I'll be using this micro tiny one 
but I definitely wanted um, this one constantly ruining my brushes with like gesso because I don't get it all the way off when I think I do basically from being a lazy crafter <laughs> so very nice and I think that's what I'll use it for and then I won't have to feel so bad if it gets destroyed I don't know it's kind of nice it's nice and fat it's a nice fat one to put my gesso down with might feel bad if I ruin it but if I do, I could just go back to the Dollar Tree and get another set. And it won't cost me like six bucks. It'll cost me only a dollar. So, I like those. They had another brush set there, but it didn't seem the greatest. So, I did not pick it up. My daughter likes to do um, those paint, pouring paints. Oh my gosh, I can't think of what it's called now. So, I got pouring medium for her. Um, they're small bottles. Let's see here. I picked up two. There, I only saw two on the shelf. So I went ahead and picked up the two that were there. Permanent wind dry for use with acrylic paint for best results. Apply surgeon art acrylic gloss to finished product. Um, non-toxic. Mm, nowhere on here does it say. Oh, nowhere on here does it say an ounce or anything but I would say that these are probably I don't know two maybe three ounces but I don't know how well this will work so I'm gonna give these to her and she can make her um, pretty paints and then we'll see if it works because it's, it's very very cheap so I'm hoping it works for her <laughs> all right and then I got some notepads and washi I try not to buy Dollar Tree washi because it doesn't stick ever for me. It never sticks. <laughs> I always have to add adhesive on the back, a little bit of like glitter art glue or something. But these were so cute, I figured that it was worth it. Look at the bow ties. Wouldn't that be cute on your little boy's page? Or like if you have a little puppy or any animal, really. I feel like it's sometimes hard to find boy related items, and I thought this was super cute. And then I got this one because once you start looking at washi, then, you know, there's other ones you want. But look at that guy. And the colors are gorgeous. So I picked up those two washies. I went a little bit notepad crazy, but I had a reason for it. <laughs> so I picked up these three notepads. Um, this is uh, Screams My Sister. <laughs> So in the junk journal I made, I'm going to take some of these out and stick them randomly in the pockets here and there in like groups of, I don't know, depending on how thick it is when I do it, like six of these, six of these, six of these maybe. And then in the box, just put the rest of them in so she can use them for something else or maybe I'll keep them. But yes, so that's why I bought those and it doesn't say how many are in each one, but I like those. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this, except for I'm not going to stick it in the pockets. I'm actually going to take a few of these. I bought yellow, pink, and green. It's a green theme in there with some yellow and pinks thrown in. So I'm going to take some of these off and literally like glue the whole back down so that it creates writing space. I mean, there's tons of writing space, but it creates a lined writing space. Um, I think she will like that. She's a little bit new to all this, uh, junk journal writing in them and stuff. So I think if I give her a couple more designated spots with lines, it'd be easier for her than just a, you know, a blank tea dyed page or whatever. So I'm going to throughout it, put a couple of these in various places. And then of course they're, they're super useful around the house. So my pile of where to put things, I'm running out of space. <laughs> then I picked up these two. I thought this was super cute and it is, here's the dimensions for it. 60 rolled sheets each. Um, it is very, very thin. So I'm going to see if I can get away with sliding this in the, her junk journal somewhere. It's probably going to be too thick, but I'll, I'm going to see if I can't get in there. If not, I'm going to put it in the box at the bottom. There are no lines. So she can like um, doodle on these yeah, and keep all her drawings with her junk journal. 
And then I bought one for the car because I never have anything to write on in my car if I get like a phone call or something. So yeah, and then you can see the shine without the packaging is real. And it's the same for this one. I thought it was too cute. And there's a star in the back. Even if you wanted to, it's only a dollar. You could take these apart, right? And, and cut it or whatever and use it as an element on your page if you wanted to. It would be pretty. It was only a dollar, so I don't feel bad in destroying it. Because I'm not destroying it. I'm just altering it for a new purpose for me. And then I went a little sticker crazy, okay? <laughs> so I got these giant butterflies. I'm like, what am I going to use these for? What am I going to use these for? I'm not going to buy these giant butterflies if I can't think of something to do with them. Because they're too big of an element for my scrapbook page. I just know. It's just too big of a butterfly element. I'm like, I most likely won't use it. So then I decided I like to get the boxes from anywhere really but usually Michael's and I combine some coupons like this and decorate them so I thought these would be a perfect size to put some of these on here Oop! hit the camera so that's why I grabbed them because I had to have a reason I couldn't just pick it up without a reason I didn't want to just hoard it <laughs> and then I got these these I don't believe are new but um, I did pick up two, but they're bones. And I'm always looking for different stuff for Halloween um, on my layouts. And I just thought that would be so cool. So I did get two so that I don't run out of the vowels and I can use, you know, big Halloween titles. And then I almost didn't get this one. I got found two of them as well. But it just screamed boy to me a lot. Like easily two colors you know red and yellow and then um a shadow of blue so three my bad these are like the primary colors you use on a boy's page most of the time add a green background i don't know i'm rambling i should not ramble <laughs> but i thought it was really boyish and really I, I liked the font so i kept coming back to it so i went ahead and grabbed superhero that's what it's making me think so that's why i grabbed it then I got these. I'm going to slide these in the junk journal for my sister to color herself and decorate her own pages. Um, these are not new. These are by Jot. These designs may be new since I last purchased them, but Jot has come out with these um, faux washi strips that you color yourself before. And these are the patterns. And I thought my sister would really like them. So I grabbed two different patterns. And these are stickers. So yeah. So I grabbed those. And then this just reminded me of my childhood. <laughs> Lisa Frank. So I had to get it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe if I document something about my childhood. But yeah. Guys, come on. <laughs> this was all the... This was what I was addicted to as a child. I loved these. They were, like, amazing. Look at those puppy dogs. You know? There's those, the kisses. And that colorful, like, cheetah print was on everything. So you get a lot for, a, like, a name brand, I would say, licensed sticker pack. So, yeah. So I don't know how I'm really going to, like, craft with this but I had to get it it just reminded me of my childhood I'm not sure if this one is new um but it's popped up slightly they have some other ones I think felt like that were more popped up but I liked it, it says I am wi-fi rock brave hashtag selfie I feel like we take so many selfies on my phones my kids me that I can like have a bajillion different types of selfie words to put down and they will go with all kinds of layouts so plus I have teenagers so this works well for my teenage girls photos I thought these were cute they're kind of like hard plastic they have texture to them I like them they're not glittery but they are shiny 
And then I thought these were so cute. Aren't they so cute? Same type of thing. There's 16 of them. There's 18 in this. I thought these were really cool, all the trees and everything. I'm going to throw this in my sister's junk journal. I think it'll go with everything. And then let's planner. So there's 292 stickers for a buck, guys. I know we might not use the whole pad, but let's say you used 100 of these stickers. Whew, so worth your money right there. And they're super cute. Look at the holographic. So I'll just do a quick flip through. This is what's up at the top. It's cute little. It says notes. And the holographic foil is continued throughout. I really like this one. Um, it's in gold on this page in a few places. In gold on this page. And then this page is just like pastels. But I like this down here, the danger. Those are cute. No foil on that page or this page. But, yeah. And then I got this one. This one has 278. Love the sticker. Look at these llamas. I mean, they're just too cute. <laughs> too cute. It's like this itty bittiest of heart. This has no foil on this page, but still cute. A few pieces of foil here. There's foil on this page. This page has no foil, and it looks to be almost the same as this one. Yep, it's the same exact sticker sheet. And this one's exactly the same as well, so that's a little disappointing. But hey, it was a dollar. Uh, and then I thought these were gorgeous. Um, so these are slightly popped up again. Crafters um, Square stickers. There's 10 in this one. And it says, make it happen. Uh, nature today is the day. So I thought those were really cute. And then this says, good day. I thought this would be like a really pretty title on a page. And it would be easy to coordinate with that. You could add these too. This one says, thanks happy and yeah and the vases are all polka dotted i thought they were cute continuing on with my sticker collection now <laughs> i found the uh these wood veneer stickers some of them have coloring and glitter There's, some of them do not they have ones that have flip-flops on them too and it's got trees these uh palm trees all over it and flip-flops instead of the pineapples, but these are the ones I grabbed. Then I got a magnet, not a sticker, four piece magnet for my daughter's mini fridge. I thought she would like it. Super cute. Then I found all this vel um, rub-ons and these are foil rub-ons. They do not come with the stick to rub it on, the popsicle stick, <laughs> who cares? We can do that. That's not a problem. I'll take this for a dollar. I really like this. I, I like to scrapbook my 4th of July pictures a lot. I don't know why. <laughs> um, they're difficult for me to scrapbook. I, I It's very challenging for me to do it. But I love trying to find all kinds of different ephemera and uh, patriotic things to actually scrapbook them. Um, but yeah. Tangent. I found this, I couldn't find two of these. I wanted to find two of these, but these are um, kind of like rustic or worn or whatever. I thought this would be cool, you know, to do a, a dad, you know, look good on a page like that, more masculine. Then I found this one and I only found three and I went ahead and grabbed all three. I am going to happy mail one of them and probably keep the other two. I think I'm going to take a few of them and put them in my sister's junk journal already. But really liked this one. You got all these buttons, a bingo card. Really awesome. And then this one's cute. Look at the envelopes. And then I could only find one of these. I wanted two. But delicious, fresh, celebrate, sweet, tasty, where is food? 
Where there is food, there is love. Love at first bite, dine. Bon appetit. One cannot think well, love well, sleep well if one has not dined well. Food. I just really like it. And this is the gold foil again. Then I found these cacti, which are super cute. And then I found two of these. And these are so gorgeous, so pretty. And then I did get three of these because I felt like I would use up a lot of one of these sheets at a time. I'm going to uh, gift one and then use the other two. So I liked those. And then I found some stencils. They are thin, um, but I'm going to use them anyways. I thought I really liked this star circle to go with um, that foil sheet. I thought this would pair well, um, oh come on now, I had it right here, with this for a page. I really liked this one. This goes well too, but, and then there's the strip down here, so I got the strip on here. Um, but I thought these would be fun shapes as well to work with. So, yeah. So I grabbed those. And then I got this baking one. I thought this was cool. There's like a lot of white space, a lot of empty space. So this would be cool to, um, you know, use it as a stencil and then like stamp as well in the empty space. Um, and then fussy cut out your thing. You could put like a little saying. It would be because it's so much room. And they're like simpler shapes, so I think it would be easy to fussy cut. Well, it would be easy to fussy cut these out, even if you're not like a fussy cutting type of person. I mean, the teapot might be a little difficult um, here, but pretty much easy. And then this would be cool, you know, like, um, I don't know, dad's grill or whatever on here. And then there's the cutting board. I just felt like they'd be simple. Mom's roast or something simple to work with. I really liked them. Then I got, here's another pen. I forgot to show you. It has a bead in it, a couple beads in it, and you have to like get it down. It's a maze and try and get it down back and forth. See, there it is. But, um, I thought she might have fun with that. I'm gonna throw that one in. I don't know if it writes well, but it looked fun. Then I got these straws, and these are definitely holographic. So pretty. I was trying not to grab, like, more packs of these. I'm like, no. <laughs> Just get one. If you use it up, you can go back. The door is still open. Um, okay. Then I went a little uh, bag crazy. I went a little crazy, like, the whole time, you know? But, yeah. So I got three of these pouches by Jot. They're plastic. They have like a plastic type zipper thing. They also expand slightly. There's like one gusset only. If I open it more. But, and then they have a pocket in the front that snaps. So I thought this would be cool to, um, well, you could gift things in it in Happy Mail. This is the three colors they had. Um, but I thought this would be cool to stick with my cutting plates and like, I have like a bunch of extra die pieces that I don't end up using on a card. I can throw them in here and I can kind of organize them by like, not in super detailed, but like throw flowers in one pouch, you know, um, holiday things in another one or something. But if I just kept it in the box with my plates, it'd be easy, you know? And then I could grab these first. Look, oh, hey, you know, I've already got some flowers cut. I can use those up and get them out of my stash. And then for Happy Mail, and because I'm a crazy person, I bought all of these. But this is super cute. Yes, I say that word a lot. Super cute. Peace out. So those pens, I got my sister. I'm going to put them in here in the bottom of her box. This one says eye candy. This is how we roll 
one of my daughters absolutely loves sushi, so I was going to get her that one. And then these were just pretty, so <laughs> I don't think I will be keeping them, though. I'm definitely going to put Happy Mail in these. These two I've seen at the Dollar Tree before, so they are not new um, cosmetic bags, but I really like the shine. So if you got some Happy Mail and it also came in this, I'd be like, what? And then I picked up two of these for Happy Mail. They're for, you know, a ring binder, but who cares? I love the colors. I want to be a mermaid. This is not new either. I believe I've seen these there, this specific one there before, but I liked it, so I got it. Also, bam, I got all of these. First of all, I only could find one of these, and they're so cute. I wanted two in my um, craft room, but I could only find one. And then I found all these pom-poms, and they're so pretty. So I don't like this plasticky piece thingy. I, I'm sure it works fine. I don't like it. But what they're on is a metal hoop. So I wanna take this off. I think I can just break this plastic off and then put on my own junk ring and hang it on the outside of like a mini um, album or something. Or you can just leave the white on and had it attach it to Happy Mail because yeah how well does this work see these white clips are kind of crappy there we go ta-da so super cute so i got it in blue pink a purple and this white then i also got this one so soft and i just had the cutest little ears i love it then I got this avocado. I'm going to put this with my sister's junk journal. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to figure out how to attach it to the side or just throw it in her box, but I love it. Then I got this one for my daughter. And this is actually a keychain, which is super nice. Super soft. It's a llama, and he's got, like, little dangly feet. How adorable is that? So cute. And it's a keychain. Then I picked up a few things for Mother's Day out of their stuff. So I'm just going to make like a basket for my mom and then get her something else. But I found these eye patches, hot and cold eye patches. Shower fizzies, aromatherapy. There's a four pack. I got some hand cream. I got the little ones. I like getting the little ones because she can throw them in her purse. And they don't weigh her purse down so much as if she has like, you know, a more medium sized bag. I mean lotion. I also thought I'd grab her this. Um, has SPF 15 coconut oil lip balm for her purse. Then uh, these are new and I thought she might like to try them. I got two of each because you won't really know if you just use one if it works. Usually you have to use something twice in a row. So I got her the capsule mask advanced firming. So from what I understand it's a paper mask you put on your face and then afterwards you put this on. It's like like a serum that stays on your face. So, yeah. So, I got her... They have three different ones. I got her these two. Advanced Brightening and an Advanced Firming. So, yeah. And then I got this... It's also in a pretty container. Himalayan Pink Salt Bath Salt. 100% natural and pure. It just looks pretty. I like the mason jar look. There's quite a bit in here. It says one pound and it seals and reopens. Like this part you have to cut, but right here it zips back closed. So that's nice. Then I did get this bowl. I get these bowls for my kitchen. The kids put popcorn in them, chips in them, you know, salads. They're, they're just super convenient. So that's what I got for Mother's Day. And then I got the sand and one of these jars. Because I am going to put my makeup brushes in my bathroom in this. Because um, I'm currently not liking what I have going on. I did find this in the graduation section. This is super sparkly frame. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to put in it. I've thought about gutting it 
and using the frame to frame out the front of a mini album make it super chunky with like tons of flowers and stuff but yeah it was very pretty um i got this it says cool head pillow built a nozzle to let water out and to adjust for comfort nowhere on here that i noticed did it say to fill with water but i'm assuming you put water in it they only had it in this one color I hadn't seen it before. Maybe it's been around. I don't know. I haven't been shopping at Dollar Tree a lot. Um, well, it's a good... Wow. Velcros? Let's see here. What does the picture look like? Oh, the picture doesn't show you anything. Okay. I'm not sure why you have this or need it. It's fairly good size. It's like baby pink cool head pillow, it says. Um, www.gotocoolhead.com. So maybe if you go to the website, it'll show you more. Or does it have instructions on the back? Fill line. Step-by-step -step instructions. Add cool water through the large opening at the end of the pillow. Water should be added up to the fill line. Step two, squeeze excess air out through opening. Close the open end of the pillow and roll top down three to five times, creating a seal for the water. Well, this sounds complicated. Use the buckle to close and secure the bag. Once closed, the bucket strap can be used as a handle to carry the pillow back to your resting area. Step four, before you settle in for the coolest rest on the beach, you can use the built-in nozzle to remove excess air and adjust the water level for maximum comfort. Nozzle to top may come off if unscrewed too much. Simply screw back in if this happens. Step five, when water is no longer providing adequate coolness, return to step one and repeat process. A small amount of leakage may occur. This is normal. <laughs> so they know their product isn't completely working. Okay, well, it was a dollar, you know. So from what I get it, you fill this much up with water, you fold this back and clip it and it becomes a smaller pillow. But I don't know. Let's see here, where's my ruler? So this pillow is approximately, let's do the fat part. At the fattest part, it is almost 11 inches. It's like 10 and three fourths. And then it is roughly, one so a foot and seven inches and yeah because compared to the other side so about a foot and seven inches because you can't fill past this so it's a good size pillow for a buck i'm not sure if it'll work out too well since in the description it says small amount of leakage occurring is normal but i'm gonna try it out actually my daughter will probably confiscate it and try it out then i saw these i thought these would be fun spice secrets guilty party card games party game so one says to it's simple Take turns, draw a card from the top of the deck, read the card out loud, and all who have done what the card says must drink. And then this one says, take turns drawing a card from the top of the deck, read the card out loud, have everyone vote on who is most likely to do what is on the card. You can point to the individual or use a paper and tally the answer. The person with the most votes drinks. So, I thought these would be, might be fun. Um, I'm not going to open them and read all of them. I did get this stand. It's for an iPhone, or not iPhone, a smartwatch. Um, let's open it up. They had it in different colors. I think it was like white, orange, and blue. So I went ahead and got blue. Um, I'm not sure. Okay, so I would assume this is the top. And that this is the bottom. So does it stand? Oh, yeah, it stands. Oh, I think it'll work. It's slant, slightly slanted. So your phone, you know, I mean, your watch. I think this will work. Okay, 
I'll have to let you know if my man says it works or not. And then I did pick up a few more personal things for personal facial scrubby mask. I am going to try this in the shower versus just using my hands. Then I got these two masks, which I thought were cool. Look, see, woo, woo. So this one's cucumber and pore refining to aloe. So I'm going to do that with one of my daughters. And then, oh, I got us these to do as well, the hot and cold pads. And then this is newer to me. I haven't seen Cleansing Jello, Jelly Face Balm. Comes in a cute packaging. Apply a massage dim size amount onto wet skin and rinse clean. So it's like a wash. Awaken skin, cleanse away, and weigh the blah. Revealing healthy, soft skin. So, yeah. I thought that was cool. Then I thought I'd try these. They have gold hearts in them. And then this one's got like gold bits on top of the gl the shimmer glitter. So it's called Mo limited edition moon metal. I don't know. We'll see how much glitter stays on the finger. But I thought I'd give it a try. So other beauty related products. I got three of the lip liners. I've got one of the Perfect Blend Correctors, e.l.f. product. I like e.l.f. products. And then I got Smudge Proof Application Eyeliner in the navy. I like to use blue eyeliner, so I was happy to see that. Um, and happy to see some e.l.f. products I have not tried. I also got a lipstick. This is Flirtatious. I like e.l.f. products. So, like I said, <laughs> so this is what flirtatious looks like. Creamy, pretty, vibrant. It's uh, pretty pigmented. Um, Wet n Wild um, Black Eyeliner. It actually works well for me. So I went ahead and got another one. I put it on my under my under eye. And I use a different one for on top. Then I went ahead and picked up these. It had plenty more colors. Um, I got the Garden Party, Dew Drop, and Seaside Escape. And these are eyeshadows. This one um, is kind of like a silky look. These have a shimmer to them. So I don't know how pigmented these will be. Let's try the really dark one. See if it has good color. These are by LA Colors, so you never know if it's going to be crappy or good. Because some of their stuff like works and some of it doesn't. Well, I cannot get this out. Goodness gracious. Well, there's the lid. Alrighty. So it comes in a little tin with a lid, so that's cute. Oh, and it says the name on the bottom, that's nice. Not always does Dollar Tree stuff say the name on the bottom. So it's pretty light. I mean, it could just be because I'm using my finger. I mean, if you keep applying, that's not bad. I mean, compared to this, it's really light, but this would work well together as a palette on your face with this lipstick. That's more pigmented, the yellow. I was just one, one swoosh. That's super light. I would have to apply quite a bit of that, I think, to get it to go on. And again, I'm using my fingers and not my makeup brush. But I think they're pretty and for a buck, I'm definitely gonna try them out. Let's see, we'll do the shimmers just so we can see, but I won't do them both. Once again, having a hard time opening the package because it's me.
Alrighty. Nice lid again. Let's see, get my finger pretty clean. All right, let's try with the lightest one first. That's pretty. Light, but pretty. If you've built up on it. And then we'll do this yellow. Once again, it's pretty. I like. It's uh, similar to this one, but... Um, with shine to it. I feel like it's the same color, just with shine. And then we'll try the blue. Let's see here, do I have a spot anywhere? Yeah, the blue has definitely got the most pigment, but I figured it would. So that's how the shimmery ones look. Then I picked up Wonder Picks because they're cute and they're fun. I picked up these, I've gotten these before. They have them in their tropical section. You get four, they're considered ice cream cones and they come with these cute scoopers. The scoopers I use in my room for like all kinds of stuff. Little beads, seed beads, glitter, whatnot. And the bowls go in my kitchen. My toddler enjoys eating his like uh, goldfish and snacks out of it. Um, they did have these at the end of the counter, hand sanitizer. Um, like a huge box on my each end of the counter that they were selling one per person. So I went ahead and got that. It's eight fluid ounces, so it's a nice big one. Also found light bulbs that I needed. Um, soft white LED light bulb, 60 watt. And this is what it looks like. And then for my ceiling fan, I found these. LED 60 watt decorative clear finish dimmable. 500 lumen. So I did get three of those and two of these. Also, they had better bread than normal, and you were allowed to have four loaves. So this was sourdough country. I got a um, this one is Arnold country white, and then I got a Sarah Lee one, but we already opened it. So I only got three. I didn't get. I know we were allowed four, but I just got three because that's all we needed for my house. Um, and then I found these little mushrooms. I thought they were super adorable. I'm going to put them in like one of my potted plants out in the front yard. Also picked up this for my daughter. She will probably find this hilarious. Squishy poo goo. My toddler saw this and then ran up to and wanted it. And I said, oh, this is for your sister. And he goes and up to his sister. And he goes, mom bought you poop. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> it was funny. It was really funny. I also got the Power Mix Blend. I like these. They're delicious. And that is the end of my super, super long video. I hope you guys stayed through all of this, enjoyed all my finds. Um, like and subscribe if you did. If you need, leave a comment if you would like. And bye.